Hello and welcome in Scapians. This is Sujit and today in this video I will show you how to rotate objects around its center rotation point. Now in this video we will see four different methods to rotate objects. Okay? And the first one is going to be the manual rotation and then transform to and then tile clones and then one of the path effect. Now as we go ahead with this we will see each method will be easier than the previous method and also more advanced. Now explaining all these methods will take a bit of time. So I'm going to split this video in two parts. In this video that you're watching, I will show two methods and in my next video, I will cover the other two. Okay? And to show you the Inkscape version that I'm using is 1.0 beta. You are perhaps using the 0.9 to the stable version. Okay? And the, all the tools that I'm going to discuss in this video, you can find the same tool in 0.92 version as well. Okay? So let's get started. I'm going to duplicate this object. Now to begin with, uh, throughout this video, uh, what we're going to achieve is we're going to move this or uh, rotate this object around this circle. Okay. Now, if you just click on this object and click once again, you get this cross hat. Now, if you just click on the rotation handle, if you try to move that, that will rotate around its center rotation point. Now, the key is to move this cross hat to anywhere. And if you try to move this object, that will actually move around its center rotation point. Okay. Now, if you just change the position to here, if we try to move it here, see the behavior is different now. So it is really important you know, to position the crosshair to the point where you want to rotate an object. So I'm just going to snap this to the midpoint of this circle. We actually don't need this circle, you know, we are just using it for reference. So in order for this to be snapped, we have to turn this options on okay that says snap and items rotation center now this also works in conjunction with other tools snapping tools as well so if you don't know what each one of the snapping tool does it's better that you you know enable all the options here just like i did so once you snap the center rotation point of this object to the midpoint of this object now you can duplicate this object and try to rotate this okay now that will actually move around the center rotation point now when you press and hold the control key okay and click on this rotation handle if you try to move an object now that will be constrained to 15 degree and what do I mean by 15 degree okay let me show you if I take this ruler okay before the ruler tool i want you to imagine a line going from this point straight up to this point and then another line going from the midpoint of the circle to this point and the angle that it's going to create will be of 15 degree let me show you that this measurement tool will also work as a protractor okay, let me just snap this to this point all right uh, let me just zoom this in and see it says 15 degree so it's a pixel perfect okay. so this is what i mean by 15 degree again when i duplicate this object and if i try to move this now uh, this will be rotated to 15 degree let me just make copies and then move it and by the time you complete the one full rotation you will have 24 objects now how do I know that? If we just select all of them and deselect this circle and you see here it says 24 objects. So you just multiply 24 the number of objects by the angle 15 and you will get 360 degree because the circle has a 360 degree. Okay. So let me just duplicate this. Now, the default setting is the 15 degree, okay, you will get 15 degree increment with each step. But you can always change that setting by going to edit, preference, and then go to behavior, and then steps, and then on the right side you will see this rotation snaps every 15 degrees. So we have default 15 degree, and there's this down arrow key which indicates the drop, uh, drop down list, and you can choose any of these numbers. For say for example we're going to use this 90 and just close this uh, that will take effect immediately and to show you that 
if I just duplicate this object, if I try to move this rotation point, now this no longer will be constrained to 15 degree, but it is now 90 degree. Yeah. So this is how we can change the default setting from 15 to any of the numbers that were listed in the drop down. Now I'm just going to go back to our settings, I mean edit preference and then behavior steps and I'll change this back to 15, I like 15 degree. Now if you look at this, now this drop down list, you know the numbers are pretty limited. The problem occurs when we want to rotate an object which is not listed in this you know, drop down. Say for an example 20 degree. If you want to move this or if you want to rotate this object you know, to 20 degree angle, we don't have 20 degree in this list. The closest one is the 18 and the 22.5. Okay? So how do we get 20 degree angle? So we just close this and this is where we're going to use the you know the traditional transform tool which you can find under under object go to transform now this is the fourth option from down in 1.0 beta version now you may find you know third from the bottom because this prototype option is pretty new feature but it has to be somewhere here third or fourth now that will open this dialog box now it will have a lot of tabs move scale rotate skew matrix we're going to click on rotate and in this field here, which is going to type 20 degree and make sure you have this degree selected from this drop down and make sure to enable the clockwise. We, you have anti-clockwise and clockwise. I prefer clockwise. Okay. And now just duplicate this object and hit apply. Now that will give you 20 degree angle, which means that will this settings will override our default setting, which was 15 degree. Okay. Again, to show you that I will take the measurement tool and I'll snap this to the midpoint of this circle and I'll drag straight up here and then I'll just snap this here. Now if you see here it says 20 degree which is what we have set here. Okay, So it's pixel perfect snapping and rotation. So I'm just going to close it. You know what? Uh, it's really important to know first you know how many objects you want to rotate around a center rotation point. Say for example, we want uh, 10 objects including our original shape. Okay, we want 10 objects to go around this circle. We have to do a little bit of math in this field. Okay, just type 360, divide that by the number of objects which is going to be 10. And this is the angle, you know, which will be equally distributed between the objects. And to show you that how, let me just duplicate this and then hit apply and keep doing that. Duplicate and apply. And when it completes the full rotation, okay, just select all of them and deselect this circle and go to, okay, we have, we have a duplicate object somewhere in here because it says, okay, this was the duplicate object. So I'm just going to hit delete. Deselect this again. Now the status bar says 10 objects. Okay. So uh, it is really important to know how many objects you want to rotate and you can divide that number of objects by 360 and the number you're going to get that will be the angle okay, which will be equally distributed between the objects. Now uh, important thing here is when you use transform tool, okay, let me just duplicate this once again. Alright. So make sure the number of objects, okay, 360 should be divisible by the number of objects. And what do I mean by that? For example, say we want to rotate an object, we want to rotate this object, and we want to have 17 objects going around this circle. And if we divide 360 by 17 and hit enter, you get this odd number. And to make the thing worse, it also gives you decimal. Now, when you hit duplicate and click apply, and if you keep doing that, you will get the desired result. Now, your eyes may not, you know, detect the spaces or the fault between because this is not equally distributed. The spaces or the angles is not equally distributed between these objects geometrically. And why is that? Because if we just 
multiply 21.176 into 17 you get this 359.992 whereas we should have gotten 360 okay so it's not pixel perfect it's not accurate as getting the even number in the angle field but yes you can get away all right that is all from this video but wait wouldn't it be nicer if we just had a tool you know where we could just assign the number of objects we want and an angle and then with the click of button we would get all the objects rotated well luckily we have that tool right here in Inkscape okay do know that you have to watch my next video so see you there